in today's video i'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is about to go insane next week and why y'all should keep it in your watch list we're also going to be looking at some other stocks that i've mentioned last week and do a little recap all right so let's dive right into it right off the bat let's check out the markets this is the spy and um right now it's in it's in no man's land and this is what i mean it's right in the middle of this level of resistance and this level of support right here the market is going to trade sideways which means which is it's good and it's 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 bad um, it's good because certain sectors are gonna do their own thing right and it's bad be and it's bad because there's gonna be a lot of chop and a whole lot of stocks just a, a lot of chop and there's gonna be it's gonna be kind of tough to get some direction on where everything is going to go right again as long as it chops in here day trading is preferred all right day trading is still preferred i don't think it's gonna do much probably until like i would say until like wednesday so this is the red box where we chop all right so patiently wait until it gets out if you trade if you're trying to swing the spy again in either direction patiently wait until it gets out of the range so set your alerts right below 4500 and right above for right below yeah 5500 and right above 5550 yeah all right and just patiently wait later on but we'll see how it opens in the morning again i will make another video in the morning so we will see how how things turn out my opinions may change but as of right now this is what i'm seeing now let's look at let's look at a stock for next week now a stock that is about to go crazy next week i'd say it's cdx and for those of y'all who watched friday's video i released it in the morning congratulations to y'all for making bank on it there was a bullish pennant cooking right here pre-market i'm gonna pin the video at the top that way you can go check it out if you haven't checked it out already i told you guys that this thing was gonna run to this green circle right there and right out the gates immediately it spiked just like what crowdstrike um did on i believe thursday morning just like that so it spiked and then dropped sideways showed a falling wedge and then broke out again at 11 o'clock and close in strength i don't think this move is done yet i think it's gonna go much higher and the reason why i say that is because uh there might be a little pullback at 166 i think it's gonna get to 166 tomorrow maybe it jumps there right maybe it opens at 166 before we see a pullback but if it doesn't jump and if it opens up at the same price I think it's gonna do a similar morning spike like it did on Friday morning. All right, so that's that's my thoughts on that one for the short term. Now for the remainder of the week, we're gonna look at the four hour, and we're gonna zoom in right here. I see a bullish rectangle on there. All right, it's right there. It's been chopping again it's chopping yes but there is some day trading opportunities again as i mentioned on friday now it's about to break out there are shorts right here who are absolutely petrified they're right here i'm gonna use the the red box all right there's some shorts right here there's some shorts right here there's some shorts right here right so what's going to happen with this one is that we're gonna see the push to 166 maybe even 166.50 then we're gonna drop right maybe from tuesday to wednesday test that level and then once the short sellers who are in here realize that we're not breaking below it they're gonna cover and then when they cover we're gonna see a move to like 170 later on this week all right later on this week that's my first opinion of it of what may happen right um for the longs best case scenario we don't see a pullback we just see a run to 166 and then it closes at 166 and then it runs again to 168 and 170 day after day so that's the first stock to keep on watch cvx which is the oil 
sector the oil sector people the oil sector now the next one is the next one that we're gonna look at uh is um the clf let's check out clf all right now clf i mentioned it also on friday's video and this one didn't do it, it didn't do much um it just stayed at the same exact price i thought it would go to 1750 i still think that it would go to 1750 it just needs volume if you look at the bottom there isn't that much um activity with the stock is behaving but it's really really slow so keep that one on watch for a continuation unless it misbehaves and drops below 15 bucks if it does that the structure is dead don't don't even bother looking at it all right so as long as it stays up here i don't know how fast it's going to get there i, I really really don't i know the beginning and i know the end the middle is a little gray all right so um I i'm gonna show you an example of, of what i mean again for those of y'all who've been watching these videos i'm gonna show you an example and this is gonna be a nice segue into like the recaps um we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about neo first all right and again if you i, I made I, I talked about neo on friday and i gave you guys specific instructions to do on friday i told y'all specifically to set your alerts at exactly ten dollars and seventy four cents all right ten dollars and seventy four because of the bull flag on here and i also told you guys that they were putting out news about them reporting like an 81 percent increase in their ev deliveries and uh what else lee also reported something like 662 percent in their ev deliveries like that increase so i told you guys that and i gave you a specific instructions we took a trade on this one as soon as as soon as this thing ranked as soon as this thing ranked i was in here with calls the uh the c11 that expired on um september 8th for 34 dollars all right with the price target again the plan i told you guys the plan in the morning with the price target of being 11.50 I held for until 9 and then I sold half at 907 when it reached let's go back to think or swim and switch to the one minute so 907 was right here so right after it touched 1125 I sold half and then I waited again until 920 to get out completely after i was seeing this little triple top like one here one here and then another one here and then i got out right at this candle for 57 dollars per contract a 70 percent gain on my money for for neo all right so now let me show you guys let me show you guys what happened with with xpf because some of you have been asking about it again I, I shared this one with you i believe it was in the beginning of the week like i shared this one with y'all last week i think sunday or monday and then i told you guys to watch it for a move to 1950 all right like i said i know the beginning and i know the end the middle is a little gray all right and this one this is like the the worst way this thing could behave and the only reason why i knew the chinese evs was going to run was because of that one structure on on neo and since they all like to move together and they were all reporting some good news like the move was kind of obvious again i told you guys watch it for a move up here and then it waited until the expiration dates of the contracts of the contracts that i would have bought right here to get to the target right so it doesn't always get there when you want it like i mean it doesn't always it doesn't always get to the price when you want it to get there sometimes it plays with your emotions right and then get there at the very last moment so it's just something to to keep in mind as you're trading as you're learning again we trace structures over here like i said i know the beginning i know the end 
the middle the middle is is you it requires a lot of patience and it's very tough to know it's very tough to know if it's actually going to get up there after holding for so long or if it's going to disappoint that's why as a stock is climbing in your direction i always say to take money off the table as it goes in your direction slowly take some money off all right because you never know if it's something's gonna behave like that and just waste your time so it's just it's just good practice people it's just good practice i got to 20 dollars actually and then like all of the ev stocks just stopped and obviously we sold it all of the contracts and that was the only trade i took on friday so congrats to anybody who made some money on that let's see 10 minutes okay let's talk about Ooh, one more last one the last one that i've mentioned um the last one that I mentioned, let me just clear the charts. All right, so NVIDIA was the first stock that I've mentioned. And I forgot to tell you guys to wait for the break above 500 in that video. So hopefully you were very patient with it and you didn't just jump immediately at the open, which is something that I never do. Like I allow, I allow like, I allow some minutes to go by because I don't like being trapped at the open. I hate that. All right. So I want to see the, the, the color of the candle that I want to see. Obviously, I wanted to see something green with solid green volume. All right. Again, but I didn't see that. And my alert. Yeah, let me show you guys. Let me go back here. Like I was looking at it. I wanted to take that trade. All right, right here. So bullish Bennett price target 510 today. All right, waiting for the break of 500 to take the 510, 98. So I was waiting for it and it never even happened, right? So I thought about, I thought about shorting it for a day trade, but Neo ranked, all right? And I like to trade with sound. It helps me not to overthink so much. So I hear the sound. And then I just go with what the plan was. And it makes everything a bit more simpler. So that's that's the um that's the recap on on everything. That's what y'all should be looking out for this week for tomorrow. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to demolish the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. Don't forget to um subscribe if you haven't already. Again. For early access to the morning videos which are released from monday to friday 15 to 20 minutes before the market opens click on the join button next to the subscribe button and select morning videos to be part of a private discord community you can find that at the first link in the description of the video below that is where i post all of my thoughts as i see in real time and the details of the contracts my entries and my exits and most importantly the reason why i take my trades to begin with um, if you haven't followed me on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and Better Knowledge Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're a new trader and you would like to get started, there's some basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes like 10 to 15 minutes for you to have all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get some free stocks after setting up with Weeble using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.